What is the worst possible way to be rejected? Not a rejection, but when we were in college a girl I had been friends with throughout high school said Ben I used to fancy you a few years back, but my standards have gone up since then. She said that in front of all our other friends. Fortunately I found the whole thing hilarious. Say you almost fancied her too since your standards have actually dropped, but not quite low enough. Thought I was dating a guy for 2 years he would call me his girl to his friends and we would hang out every day. Hang out being the keyword here I thought nothing of it. We would be intimate. Make plans. Eat together. Sleep together. Go shopping together. Exchange gifts. Valentine's Day he goes to Miami with another girl. I thought okay weird, but I'm not going to be jealous. He'd make it up to me. Turns out he didn't make it up to me was acting weird, and I looked in his phone, and he got rejected through text by the girl he took to Miami, when he asked her to date him, and think about the future, and start a family, and when I asked him, why he lied about it, he told me I was never his girlfriend, and that I misunderstood our friendship, and he was rejecting my advances for something more committed. So yeah my worst rejection up to date. Undefined. I'm sitting here just blinking at my phone. What the f peep? When they're your ride home. I once asked someone out when I was their ride home. To be fair, I was going to do it before we drove home and then realized how terrible of a thing that could have been if you said no. So I asked him when I dropped him off. He said no. High school me wasn't the smartest, but I'm grateful every day I realized that asking before I drove him home would have been really awkward. In middle school my friend wrote a letter to his crush asking her to a dance. Dropped it on her desk and then left because he was nervous. As we walked outside we watched her through the window reading it, laughing, and then getting a bunch of her friends to come over and they read it together laughing their asses off. Sucks but it's way better knowing she was just a speep kid, rather than some vague memory of not having the balls to drop that letter on her desk. Good for him. I was outright ignored. Just not a single thing said. So I awkwardly never talked to them again, because they didn't seem to want to talk to me. I knew a girl once. She had a crush on me, since we were 8. I was home from college and ran into her. We chatted a bit and then she started crying and telling me how she always liked me, but I always ignored her. We did talk quite a bit throughout our school years, but she never mentioned being interested in me. So I asked her out right there, and she said no, and went down the crazy tunnel to crazy town about how I was only asking her out to have sex with her. It was weird. Glad I dodged that bullet. When the person acts like he slash she just saw something disgusting. Come on. First you just say no. If they insist, then you can do whatever you want. But let us have the chance to walk away with just a no. I've had people faint vomit at the thought of being with me. I didn't even hit on them or ask them out. Someone brought up the idea of sleeping with me and the pretended to puke in their own mouth. Like WTF who does that? Preemptive rejection. I've had it happen a couple times. Both times were with women slash girls who were part of a circle of friends. I never showed any interest in either. But, somehow, they both felt the need to say, out of the blue, I'll never sleep with you. It's all good, things even a doubt. Should have said same. Glad we are on the same page. I went to a bar with a girl that I had met at work once. We had really hit it off from day one, and so we had decided to go get drinks. But the whole day she was like. She wasn't rude or anything. She was just acting weird. When we got to the bar we basically sat in awkward silence until who would have guessed it her ex shows up. He comes over to the table, introduces himself to me, and then starts talking to the girl and she immediately stops acting weird. And then he left. And then she started acting weird again. Eventually. She excuses herself to go to the bathroom. She was gone for a while. So I turn around in my seat and look toward the bathroom and there she is. Sitting in her ex's lap. Making out with him. 
Being told to wait until recess for an answer to the do you like me question. Waiting. Then being told hell no on the playground with a gaggle of 6th grade girls behind her. I still carry the scar. 30 years later. My son is in 2nd grade. Earlier this week he asked a girl out, and she said no oh oh oh. And her friends laughed and said reject it. I felt bad for my little guy, but I told him to keep his head up. The next day she wrote my son a card telling him he was brave, and asked if they could still be friends. Their partner tells you. Well at least you made a new friend. When I lived in SoCal in the early 2000s there was a bogus phone girls could give people who asked for their. An answering machine would then play a message saying sorry, you've been rejected. Lol and hang up on yow under find. It was called the rejection hotline. Middle school. I had my friends. She had hers. I asked her. She said. My friends laugh. Her friends laughed. But one of her friends said to my buddies. Why you laughing that's messed up. Thank you kind friend of hers. Undefined. F peeping Christ that took a turn. Being led on or strung along when the other person is clearly over it. I'm currently going through it. We were seeing each other for about 3 months, and then someone new entered her life. They began hanging out a ton. She was answering me less and less. I asked her about it, and straight up said it's fine if it's over, but I don't want to just throw us away over me being paranoid. So just be straight with me. Up until then she had been honest, or I think she was. So I believed her, when she said she was just busy with the end of the school year, and he was just a friend. Flash forward 2 weeks. We have spent maximum 2 hours in that same time. Hurts so much worse this way. Like I wasn't even important enough to dump. I was just gutted, and left to bleed out on the side. This is what people mean, when they say they need closure. Just tell people, what you need if it's over. I just wish she had said, look I want to see where things go with this guy. I'm sorry, but that means we are through. Probably wants to keep you on the hook just in case it doesn't work out with a new person. Super speepty. I was the first in my family to graduate college, and was incredibly proud of myself for making it despite my limited resources, and having to work my way through school. My father told me he wouldn't come to my graduation. Said it really wasn't that big of a deal. I still remember the phone call, and just sitting in the grass in the common area sobbing, while people walked past. Rejection by a parent, is something I don't wish on anyone. I feel you. I'm one of four, but I'm the first born with a different mom. My dad rejects me time and time again. Takes my siblings on family vacations without inviting me. Doesn't put me on the Christmas card, and makes a huge deal, whenever my siblings do literally anything but I graduated valedictorian with my masters of science degree and he acted like it was nothing. Left early to go to my sister's field hockey practice. Not game. Practice. Still hurts but undefined. I was 12. All my classmates pushed me to confess to my crush, who was standing on the stairs. Everyone was staring at me as I, in my prepubescent anxiety, managed to blurt out I love you, while holding my arms up. She put on the deepest expression of disgust I've ever seen, and I run away. Fun times. Sounds like a thing you would randomly remember at 3am. I went on a first date with a girl. We had a nice dinner and really seemed to be hitting it off. We decided to visit a jazz club after dinner. Some guy started flirting with her when she was on her way to the ladies room. It continued when she was on her way back. Dude then posted up nearby and just kept looking at her and winking at her while she was sitting at the table with me. She excused herself and went over and started talking to the guy. I was hopeful that it was a what the f peep is your problem. Dude? Conversation. But no. Soon they were laughing and joking and exchanging numbers. When I decided to call it a night, she thanked me for dinner and said she was going to hang out a bit longer. Holy speep ouch. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.